Hello, friends, and welcome to this edition of Spiritual Thinking. I want to ask you a question. Are you nervous, tense, full of anxiety, anxiety about what will happen or what may come to be? Well, there is no need to be, for there is a very present help, and you need not have any fear. The topic of this show is fearless. Let's open this healing service with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You know in the word it says in Psalms, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Yes, indeed. Let's have a few readings on this matter. A poem. There's no need to fear. There's no need to fear poverty or lack. God is my source of supply. The Lord will provide all the good I need. He sustains and maintains me. There's no need to fear loss. What's seemingly been lost will be renewed, restored, or replaced with equal or better value. There's no need to fear illness. The Christ Spirit can make you whole, heal your body and soul. There's no need to fear the failure you were created to succeed. You can bounce back from failure to victory with persistence and determination. There's no need to fear death. As a true believer, you will be resurrected to live forever with the infinite. No need to fear anybody nor anything here, for there is protection and safety from above God is ever present near. Yes, indeed, friends, we can surely have no fear of what we may face, whatever it may be. Let's have a few readings from the scriptures. This is from Psalms. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory in the lifter of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. So we see here from Psalms that we have a shield, a powerful, omnipotent shield of protection. But you must dwell in the presence as you dwell within in the presence of the Most High. Then, truly enough, you shall not even be afraid, as the psalmist says, you have 10,000s of people. So whatever amount of people they may be, or a person who may be arrayed against you, who may be anti you, then you can be fearless because of the fact that God is the true salvation. Now we have here, again from Psalms, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. So you see, 
you can be fearless because why? Because the Lord is your light and your salvation and there and also the sustainer and the maintainer of your life. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I may seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall mine head be raised up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing praises unto the Lord my God. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. So we see here that if there should be some fearful thought or worry thought, worried thought or an anxiety or you feel full of tension, don't faint. Don't fear. Be why can you be fearless in the infinite? The Almighty is ever-present help. Now we have here from Genesis, and to fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, and upon they that move upon the earth and upon the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. You shall have no fear nor dread. So it's true enough. You have been, as a child of God, given dominion. But you see, in order to have this dominion, first you must have dominion of your own consciousness. To take control of your own mind, to be able to dwell in the sense of security. To dwell in the sense of uh, an ever-present help. And then you will have no need to fear. You can be fearless in that regard. Now we have here again from Genesis. And Joseph said unto them, The third day this do and live, for I fear God. So you see, God is the only one to fear. <laughs> you see, because that is your maker. Because of the omnipotence and the omnipresence and the all power of the infinite that gives you your very breath of life. Without this breath of life, you could not exist. So God provides that breath of life. So that is why alone, God alone, is to fear. Exodus. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear God, men of truth, hating covetousness. So you see, those men and women who fear God, that is, respect and are in awe of the Most High, then truly enough, those people, those upright ones, surely shall dwell in a sense of peace and a peace of serenity, a, a sense of serenity. And in their dwelling in that sense of peace, and in that sense of serenity, then you truly will be in a state of fearlessness. Now we have here from Leviticus. Thou shalt not curse the deaf, nor put a stumbling block before the blind, but shalt fear thy God. I am the Lord. So you see that we should fear no person, place, or thing. For the highest alone is always there an invisible, ever-present help. Now we have here from Deuteronomy, and all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. So you see, if you have no fear, fear will be afraid of you. For with God on your side, 
with God on your side, who can stand against you? No one. Now we have here from Joshua that all the people of the earth might know the hand of the Lord, that it is mighty, that ye might fear the Lord your God forever. God is mighty. The I am, the great I am, divine love, Jehovah, Jah, however you refer to God in your own conception, is mighty, having omnipotent power and ability. Now we have here again from Joshua. Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. Put away and serve the evil and serve the Lord. So you see when you who are a true believer, when you are serving the most high in truth, for God is truth and lives from truth and expresses truth. And when you are serving in sincerity, then you are truly being a true son or daughter of the Most High. And there you dwell in the presence. In his presence, there is peace and all good. Now we have here from 1 Samuel, only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he have done for you. So you see, as you serve the Lord with all your heart and consider all the good, remember there was a time when perhaps in your past there was something that loomed so large and that seemed so dreadful and that seemed like it was a calamity of one kind or another. Perhaps you were very nervous, afraid, trembling of heart, you see. Didn't know how you would be able to come out of that situation or how that condition would pass or that problem would be solved. But as you felt and dwelt in the presence within, dwelt within the kingdom of God as Jesus said that it's within you, and having confidence and certainty in the Most High, then you saw that that condition did pass, that problem was solved, you received salvation, and in doing so, you became more confident in the power of the Most High. Now, friends, let's have a song. True enough, we can truly know that, friends, there's so much fear in the air today, over here and lately over there. But you, you can be of peace. You can be at peace and know. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it anymore. Cause everything's gonna be alright for sure. Everything's gonna work out right for sure. So many people are all afraid and dismayed. They worry about evil night and day. Constantly stress about this or that. But there's no need to fear. Just God is ever, ever present near. Look within. Right there for you, yeah. There's no need to be afraid anymore. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it anymore. 
Cause everything's gonna be alright for sure Everything's gonna work out right for Cause everything's gonna be alright for sure Everything's gonna work out right I know Everything's gonna be alright for sure Yes indeed There's no need to worry about it Because God will provide and God will see you through. Now, how it is that you can practice fearlessness, since this is, we're dealing with the matter of fearlessness. How is it that if fear creeps up, <laughs> creeps up upon you, uh, that evil suggestion of one kind or another comes to seek entrance to, to cause you to be in a state of anxiety or tension? Well. Fear not the evil thing. You know, many times things that you may fear never even happen anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? The c calamity, the catastrophe, the loss, the failure, many times is just figments of the imagination. And so therefore, in being fearless to fear not the evil thing, because you know, as I stated before, yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with thee. Recently, I had a true experience of this. Recently, I was actually in a place called Death Valley. And uh, Death Valley at a, at a certain place called Bad Water. <laughs> and at that time, in, due to the cause of heat, my car uh, alternator belt went up in smoke. Smoking there in the desert, in Death Valley, far away in no man's land. And as I was there, and uh, my woman was with me at the time, and we saw this smoke arising, but I didn't fear because, as I'm teaching you here, God is a very present help in time of trouble. And so therefore, as the alternator belt was gone and smoke was all the way, we're about 100 miles from Baker, the next town over. So I decided just to drive by faith. <laughs> Every time you have to go by faith and not by sight. Because if you go by sight, judge not by appearances. If I would have judged by the appearances of my alternator belt gone and the battery, I had only the battery power left and about a hundred of miles or so to go before getting to the next town through a very hot desert place, Death Valley. But by faith and being fearless, I was able to drive through. And when we got to Baker, there was amazingly a gas station as we entered the town. And I was able to be able to prov be provided for. 
and the problem was able to be corrected. And I was able to make it back home. Now also, have no fear of others or evil suggestions. Many have fear of evil suggestions and fear of others. But if you know that if God be for me, who can be against me? If God is with you, no one. There's no need. You can have that sense of fearlessness. Don't worry about the future. Many people are very concerned about the present and the future, the economic situation, the stock market situation, the gas crises, <laughs> the energy, whatever. Have no fear because you, you can know that God is my source of supply. The infinite is my source of supply. I need take no thought for anxious thought, just as the birds, the fowls of the air are provided for, they don't store or they don't work. But God provides for them. Are you not much more valuable to the infinite? Of course. You who are true believers can know that you will be provided for. Cease your anxious thoughts. Be not anxious about, but have courage. Take courage. Be encouraged that you will be able to be delivered. If you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, as I said before, then know that you have an ever-present help, an invisible help. And don't feel nervous. Don't be so jumpy. You know, never get jumpy, you know, and nervous and jumpy and panicking. Don't panic. Don't panic. But retain composure, regain your poise and confidence and faith in the Most High. And you shall indeed be delivered. Let's have here again, this is from Psalms. Truly my soul waiteth upon God, from him cometh salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Now we have here, again from Samuel. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, they all fled and ran from him and were so afraid in great fear. Don't run away. Face the fear. Face the challenge. Face the situation with God on your side. You can make it. Now we hear from Psalms. The fear of the Lord is clean, that is pure, enduring forever. Having a pure fear that is a regard for God and all that is righteousness. Psalms. You that fear the Lord, praise him. All you, the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him and all the seed of Israel. You who are true believers, only, you have only to fear is the most high. Psalms, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts or woman who trusts in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for there is no lack to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord the, shall not want any good thing. So you see, there is no need to fear, for you shall be provided with every good thing, and knowing that you have a very present help ever-present help in time of trouble and also that you shall know that within the Most High that there is protection. There is a protection and there is a safety. There is safety. You can dwell in security. You can dwell in peace. You can dwell in a sense of certainty that the infinite, being omnipresent, being omnipotent, being all wise and all good, and the provider and maintainer of all that you could ever need to maintain what you need in this life is always there for you. So cease your anxious thoughts and be express a sense of courage. Be courage. Have courage. As I was in that desert. Death Valley, 
I knew that was the time to be courageous, that was the time to be brave, and that was the time to trust, to trust in the Most High and know that irregardless of what the car may have, the appearances may be, that I knew that I would safely be able to come through that situation. So whatever situation you face, you can know that if you trust and believe and have faith even as a grain of mustard seed, that you shall indeed be delivered. You shall indeed have salvation. You shall indeed have strength. Now we have the psalm. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength. In him will I trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. So you see, we have a buckler, we have salvation, we have strength, we have deliverance, we have salvation, we have a very present help in time of trouble, we have a sustainer and a maintainer. And in all these things, we can be of true confidence and courage and have be brave and know that we have all the good that we need and that there is no need to fear. You can express a sense of fearlessness. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it anymore. Cause everything's gonna be alright for sure. Everything's gonna work.